Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you Illustrator. This is Curtis Pike, by the way. <laughs> I should have introduced myself. Uh, in the past, I've done a lot of video tutorials, lots and lots of Photoshop tutorials, but today we're going to look at Illustrator. In particular, we're going to look at the Pencil tool, some of the recent changes in it, and how it's so much better now for people that use a mouse as opposed to a tablet. They've made some great changes. First off, to get to the Pencil tool, all you got to do is press N on your keyboard. That works on Mac or PC, and then just click, left click, and then bang, just draw it out, and there you go. There you go. That is an example of the pencil tool. Perfect. That's what you're thinking, but what are you going to show me, Curtis? Well, here we go. This is where we get into things. Guys, if you click on the pencil tool twice, double click on it, you're going to see something called fidelity. On the left side is accurate. On the right side is smooth. This makes a huge difference, especially for those of you that draw or, or make graphics with a mouse. Big ding, let's take a look at it. The first one that I drew, I drew with accurate, the fidelity all the way to the maximum in accuracy. Let's do it a quick again. I'm just gonna hold this down and then I'm gonna draw a shape and bang. When you look at this, you're gonna see a lot of anchor points because it's highly accurate, that's what it does. Now I'm gonna go ahead and double click it again and this time I'm gonna show it to you with fidelity set to smooth at the maximum. I'm gonna just draw a random shape and then see what happens. There we go. Oh wow, that was horrible. Yeah guys, that, that's why I don't get out much. Um, but you'll see there's so many fewer anchor points and the reason why is because it's using smoothing in its um, calculations or in, I guess in its drawing algorithm. It's basically not taking a completely accurate view of what your hand or mouse is doing. It's sort of smoothing out the edges as you go. So that is just something that's pretty new that I wanted to show you. If I double click on it again, there's another thing that I bumped into with the pencil tool here that you really want to might take a look at and that is closed paths when ends are within 15 pixels. I'm just going to throw this here on the end of the video and I'll show you what I mean. If this is clicked off and this is the default setting, that's why I'm talking about this. This was the default setting for me. When I drew a uh, circle, when I got really close to the end, even when I touched there, when you look really, really close, I'm just going to zoom up. I'm just going to hold Z and zoom in here. You're going to notice that they are not connected. That is an issue, a big issue, because a lot of times you got to do drawings and you got to create things for your customers and they want all of that um, connected. In the past, you could draw a circle around it with the knife tool and that would uh, sort of sort it out. But uh, now, guys, like I said, double click on, uh, well, just click N, double click on it, and now you can set close pass within whatever pixel range you want. 15 pixels is what it selected to me. It works great, guys. The new pencil tool is awesome. I hope you enjoy this, and I'll be back more with some more complicated tutorials and showing you how to actually make some stuff. This is your boy Curtis Pike checking out. Thanks for watching.